next supplication, which will be discussed is found in chapter 17, verse 24. My Lord, have mercy upon them, as they brought me up when I was small. Even though, the source of all blessings, and support, is none except Allah, the Exalted, nonetheless, being grateful to others for their help, and support, is a part of faith, as thanking the means, by which Allah, the Exalted, helped someone, such as one's parents, is in fact, being grateful to the source of the help, namely, Allah, the Exalted. It is why the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has warned, in a narration, found in, Jami, R. Tirmizi, number 1954, that the one who is not grateful to people, cannot be grateful to Allah, the Exalted. Out of all people, none deserves more appreciation than one's parents. Muslims should therefore, practically act on this supplication, by treating their parents with kindness, and respect according to the teachings of Islam. Muslims should not only behave in this manner, when it suits them, such as on Mother's Day, instead, they must behave in this manner, every day, and in every situation. Even if Muslims disagree with their parents, they should respectfully point this out, and try to please them without disobeying Allah, the Exalted, as there is no obedience to the creation, if it leads to the disobedience of Allah, the Exalted. Muslims should not be extreme, by either always obeying their parents, without taking this into consideration, nor should they completely ignore them. A balanced approach is best. To conclude, if the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised Muslims, in a narration, found in, Sahih Bukhari, number 5979, to treat a parent who is not Muslim, kindly, can one imagine how kindly, they must treat their parents, who are Muslim.